All right, guys, welcome back to another video of the Man Academy. Today, we're going to go over how to stop RPOs. This is obviously something that everybody doesn't, nobody likes to get um, destroyed by RPOs. And the first thing you want to do is you want to put your curl flats on five or zero. I'm going to put them on zero. You want to put your zone drops on hook, um, your, your zone drop hooks on I'll put that to default because I had them on 10 before, but just keep it all default. Put the zone drop curl flats on zero. Um, have your auto alignment default. Just put everything else default and put option defense on conservative, but make sure you have your curl flats on zero. Make sure that you are in a playbook that has the nickel over formation and the play called cover three sky. Then we are going to call a uh rpo play it's a good example the cpu will throw the rpo when it is open i don't want to throw one i want to yes this one gun deuce close rpo alert omaha it's these little things okay so obviously you want to pinch line to look for the run we're going to look for the run as the user and those curl flats should bag the rpo Um, and obviously, you know, some RPOs play a little bit differently. So maybe against this formation, and this is a good, that's good that you saw that because this is, um, against this formation. Maybe you need to push the curl flats out a little further. Maybe we could try base aligning and this is good. We're going through the process together with this. Okay. Okay. There, there, there we go. So now, obviously I was looking at the RPO, so I didn't really play the run, but we think that we found our setup here. Okay, guys. So the first one, not so great. This one, there we go. See, you can't throw that, right? So and we can try this as well. We can try, see, base is not going to work. This guy's going to come unless you want to bring that guy down like that and then bring this guy over like that. The alignment is cooked, but we could try it with the base line like that, but that would be very tedious to do. Yeah, that's that's not going to work. So don't, don't do base line, definitely, you know, like I said, it's different for every formation, but pinch D line, bring this guy out, bring that guy in. It's not really necessary. Bring this guy out, bring this guy in. And they kind of take a step in when he snaps. And then we just look for the run. And that's a bag, guys. That's a bag, okay? So obviously if they're left side of the field, right? Here, we'll respot it. If they're left side of the field, it's gonna play different. So, so this one is obviously going to be more um, imperative to get out there. Um, and that's bad. Guys, just wide side. Make sure you get that guy out there against the RPO. Make sure that, that he is there because when... And this works really well against like smoke screen RPOs as well. They will just come out. You don't even have to move their alignment and it will just bag them. So this is the play that you should be working out of in order to bag RPOs is nickel over cover three sky. Now you might have to touch, as we saw on today's video, you might have to touch the alignment a little bit, but all in all, you should be good as long as you're in this play and you have that specific adjustment put to zero, you could also put it to five if you are concerned about them passing a little bit, um, like calling an actual pass play. RPO is not a pass play, even though it's called a run pass option. <laughs> it's it's a run play. It's a run pass play technically, but um, yeah, no one likes playing against RPO. So use this play to bag RPOs today. Make sure you head over to manacademy.com to get signed up for your first course and it will take your man game to the next level. But with that being said, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.